This week in the news, the City Parks Department, Vietnam Veterans of America Chapter 32, and elected officials representing Western Queens unveiled designs for a Vietnam War Memorial at Elmhurst Park that will pay tribute to the 420 men from Queens who fought during the war. The groundbreaking for the $3 million memorial is scheduled to take place in the fall of 2018, and the project is expected to be completed a year later. Those are 420 folks that have not been memorialized in the borough of Queens in a permanent fashion, and they should have been long time ago, Queensboro President Melinda Katz said of the memorial, it should have been when they come home and they are now going to get some recognition for their families and for their brothers and sisters in arms as folks come here and are able to reflect on the war and be able to show the next generation what we should be doing for our veterans. In other news, Mazpeth celebrated its 375th anniversary with a concert during which the Queen's Symphony Orchestra performed some of the nation's most notable patriotic tunes in the Mazpeth Federal Savings parking lot. More than 200 people turned out for the celebration and a representative from Andrew Cuomo's office gave the community a piece of steel from the old Cuscusco Bridge as a keepsake. My roots run deep in Maspeth where my grandparents settled 100 years ago coming from Ireland to pursue their own American dreams said Councilwoman Elizabeth Crowley. And Middle Village Prep received another stay of eviction on Tuesday in Queen Supreme Court. The prep school sent home a letter on May 11th informing parents that the Brooklyn Diocese would not allow Christ the King High School to continue to rent space to the prep school. The move stemmed from a clause in an agreement that the diocese has with the Christ the King, stipulating that only a Catholic school can be operated on the premises. Although Middle Village Prep was given another eviction reprieve, the judge did not indicate when she would make her final decision or whether she would ultimately rule in favor of Christ the King or the diocese. And those are the top stories this week in Queens. This week's Queens Tribune news video is sponsored by St. Michael's Cemetery, located at 72-02 Astoria Boulevard in East Elmhurst.